We didn't even bring any come on. No, we have no songs. So if you're listening for the big come in song tonight, this not a happening. Okay, so just chill on. Bring on a Christmas tune. Oh, uh, we could do that. Oh, wait. We are live. That's can we goodness. Say, can we say Christmas? <clears throat> we can say Christmas because, it, I, you, know, you know what I say? Because right out of my calendar, it says Christmas. Right it does, doesn't it? It doesn't, it doesn't Christmas say Christmas holidays. It doesn't say holidays. It says December 25th is a federal <laughs> holiday, and it's called Christmas. Christmas. <clears throat> so I'm going with it, Rusty. Ariel Dalton Banks looks like he filled out a little. He did. Quite I a lot. I saw him in, at a volleyball tournament game. Yeah. Uh, he was wearing a t white T-shirt. Yeah, right. He looked good. He looked really Does he, good. Does um, he, what's his plans? Uh, I believe Do it's you know? Southern Illinois. Southern Illinois. I, I thought it was so. one of those schools, but I couldn't remember if it was Ball State or but Southern Illinois, you think? I think. Yeah. You know what? I'll text my son. Aaron will know that. Oh, yeah. So who who of their big men play? Is this this Wilkinson kid? Yeah, the Wilkinson is leading in their rebounds. So yeah. Henry Wilkinson is 3.2. It looks like there's brothers, Henry yeah, and George. George. So Henry must be playing. That's so the re actually that Ashton Kallstrom's got 4.6 rebounds per game, and then Dalton's got 11.8. What do you got, Rusty? <laughs> We got a misprint. I'm hoping Roscoe Renock gets in the game because I'm going to go. Coo, ah. coo, coo. <laughs> coo, 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 coo. Roscoe B. Cool. Train. Roscoe Renock. That's like he's. That's like definitely uh, honorable mention. All names team. Right oh my there. God! It's right front there. runner right now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I tell you what. Uh, that was probably the most clumsy come in of any sporting event I've ever did on YouTube. Oh, we are live. <laughs> we're live. Oh, with that. We're, son uh, of a gun. Son of a Gunderson. So hey, if you're tuning in, you're just hearing the small talk up here in the booth. We had no, we had no bumper music. We had no hello, how you doing? It's just no. chit chatting away. Yeah, gave our. I guess we gave our opinions on Christmas. We did. Yeah, we yeah. did. So that was pretty good. I tell you what, there's 12 minutes on the clock. I'm going to start making my way down to courtside. I'm going to try to get a few words with head coach Zach. Campbell. Sounds like we'll a plan. see what his plan is tonight to cover Dalton Banks, and uh, then I'll be back up with you. How about that? I'm going to take all the gear with me down there. Okay. I'll be You're, back up, guys. He's hey, the gear man. Yeah, so why don't you guys do at like 11 minutes, why don't you guys do some type of soft, hello, how you doing? Welcome to Big Rivers Conference Basketball. We'll go downstairs, Okay. and then you, I'll come back up and we'll join you guys. All right. You, you cover so, it, Kevin. So why don't one of you get on the camera then when I go down and talk to the coach? I, I will. Thank you. You got it, Errol? I do. Remind me of this. Uh, <laughs> that one is, hey, well, Kevin, Kevin, which one is you? He can't hear. One? I think he's. He's three. You're three. Which one is floor? that? Uh, That's at the floor. That's the floor. Check. One's the floor. Three is the floor. Three. Three is the floor? No. One three is the floor. Is the one is going to be the floor. Yep. So can you hear me on this one right now? Yes. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Just check. Yeah, that, that's pretty good right there. It's tight. You're really tight there, Kevin. One's the floor, two's the coach. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to River Falls High School, River Falls Gymnasium for Big Rivers Conference basketball action tonight between the Eau Claire North Huskies and your River Falls Wildcats. I'm Russ Blasius alongside Ariel and Deb Avestruz, the husband-wife super team tandem, <laughs> knocking it out of the park here this year with the uh, YouTube broadcasts. Our maestro, Kevin... Westhouse heading down to the floor to set up the floor microphone, the coach's microphone, and to get a real quick interview. Some takes from head coach Zach Campbell prior to this matchup with uh, an always tough matchup, the Eau Claire North Huskies with Division I prospect Dalton Banks. That might be the focus of the conversation as to what do you do to slow him down? Do you worry about him only, or what's our, uh, what's our goal going into the game? Ariel, what do you know about these North Huskies? Well, they come into the game here, 5-0 and in the conference. They're ranked number eight in the state at Division I, realizing we're Division II. Uh, they're playing extraordinarily well. Their basketball right now is, is top-notch in the conference. They took it to Hudson earlier this, um, earlier this season. It was a 
Um, 60 to, excuse me, 74-51 game. So Kevin's getting ready to talk to Zach Campbell. and get these guys' attention upstairs. You guys got me. All right, let's get off the court a little bit. Hey, I'm with head coach Zach Campbell. And we, know, we always know, Coach, we'd like to look forward, but let's just briefly talk about last Tuesday night's game. Any takeaways from last Tuesday night at St. Paul Johnson? Yeah, we absolutely had, we had the growth with our activity, growth with our, our motion action, growth with our ability to reap our activity level on the glass. Um, things that we're, we're definitely not there yet, and everybody wants to be great yesterday with everything, but it was certainly better than what we've had yet this year. And, and the last couple of days of practice with our energy and communication have just been, it's, it's consistently growing and getting better. Good. I know shooting percentage was a little better too on Tuesday night. Probably a few guys maybe gaining a little bit of confidence from the floor. Yeah, we, we see guys in practice. We shoot a lot better than what we have in a game. But when we got guys, there's guys playing right now that minds are moving too fast and they're playing off balance because of that. And once you play off balance, you're not going to shoot the balls effectively. And just, we just need the game to continue to go and slow down. We're trying to simulate as much as we can, but really the game time is what's amping guys up. Well, I, I'm confident in my ability to do those things. It's just letting the game come to us and not being so worked up. Real happy with the practices since Tuesday night, Wednesday, Thursday. You had a couple of good nights in the gym with the team. Yeah, it just and it's all about energy. When you have energy, everything else follows, and, and they did a really good job of that last two nights. Let's talk about tonight. You got Dalton Banks to deal with tonight. Any special game plan to handle Dalton Banks tonight? Wow, there's always got to be something, but you can't just say Dalton Banks when they've got four other guys that just run around the perimeter and can shoot shoot the ball over the place. We saw that here in this gym last year when, when we did enough on Banks, but everybody else hitting shots. So it's, yeah, I mean, Dalton's going to get his. We, uh, we have, we've we got some stuff that we're in place that we're hoping that can cut off gaps and make it more difficult on them. And, um, and, and really important level is that we're contesting jump shots and then securing rebounds are very key. Good. Well, I'm anxious to see it tonight, Friday night, in the gym. Big conference game early in the season. Great atmosphere. Claire North is in town. Division One athletes are in town. Let's go play some basketball. Hey, best of luck to you, Coach. All right, right back upstairs to you guys. Well, there you go, Ariel. As Coach uh, Campbell alluded to, yeah, you have Dalton Banks to deal with, but you've got some other uh, pretty good basketball players and athletes on the floor for Eau Claire North that are gonna you're gonna have to contend with them. Also, he referenced back to last year's game, and he's right. You know, Dalton Banks did what he does, but the rest of those kids shot lights out and exactly. uh, and took it to us last year, as I recall here at uh, at, at at River Falls. Yeah, it was a 62-39 <laughs> game. That's right. You know, he, they came out. They couldn't miss a shot. All they, all their shooters were making shots. It's, it's that that virus, that positive virus. You start making shots, everybody else starts making them too. So. Yeah, exactly. Coach Campbell always a good interview. It's very uh, kind and generous of him to take some time with us prior to the tip off before they go in the locker room here. Uh, he's Ariel, some, did you guys cover it right? He said he's got something up his sleeve tonight, but he wasn't really willing to share it right there. He's not gonna. It's <laughs> not releasing that. <laughs> Secret Service information there, Kate. Right. <laughs> so, Eau Claire North is in New England where they're stealing signals <laughs> and stealing plays and no, stuff like that, right? No, right. or the, what's the Houston Astros. Right. He's yeah. not, oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Will Johnson, Punta Gorda, he's tuned in early. He got off the, off the beach, off the course. He's ready to go. Don Richards says, Russ, I'll take your 4 7 shift yesterday. <laughs> 4 <to> 7 <laughs> shift. <laughs> uh, I, I had a request out for the Sporting World, Big Brothers Big Sisters Sporting World <coughs> store here in River Falls where I volunteer one night a week. I needed help yesterday, and uh, DR, you're a little late to the game, but I much appreciate it just the same. So uh, I'll call you next time. So, hey, Bob. How are you? Good to see you. So, DR, you can write the ship by one frosty cold one at uh, the Nutty Squirrel. <laughs> our... our uh, Sponsor at halftime for Wildcat Trivia. It'll be going on tonight. <clears throat> Nutty Squirrel. There they are. Aerial Conference records. Uh, the Cats are one and one. And uh, Eau Claire North has only played one game, and that was against Hudson. Okay. And that was one that they came out 60 to 56. So, or excuse me, 74 51. So we always get ready for a good contest here. Uh, North's going to bring some energy and some good athletes. Good golf ball game. Should be a fun night. It's uh, the Friday before we kick off the. Christmas week. Right. Uh, the kids are out of school as of today. Looks like we got 
ugly sweater day in the cat's den tonight. Yeah, I'm going to go over there. To see. Since you say that, hey, I'll, there you go. I'll go over there and peruse that for There you. we go. We got Santa Claus right behind the cat's den logo there. Yeah, we got some good stuff there. And the dancers are in their Christmas outfits as well, so it works well. Mm -hmm. There we go. Hey, a couple housekeeping items for tonight. Uh, we're going to be talking about the Sunshine Fund a little bit tonight. Uh, we got a we got an ask from them. We're going to go there in a few minutes. And also we have a character. Our character <laughs> athlete of the week segment is back tonight. And Ty Boschelt, a seventh grader uh, from uh, Meyer Middle School, is going to be with us at halftime to talk about what inspires him and his character. So that will be something to tune in for. So, awesome. So I can't wait for that. So, um, so at halftime we're going to be jam-packed full. We're going to have Wildcat Trivia. We're going to talk to the character at the end of the week, and then we're also going to talk about the Sunshine Fund as well. That's a, that's a full halftime. Right. It, is, it is youth basketball yeah, night tonight. Youth basketball is always oh. fun. Hey, also, uh, so Sam Simpson is the junior player of the game tonight. So ah. Scott Simpson's son. Sam is get to sit on the bench, and he'll be introduced as well. Very cool. Very nice. And the Cats are back out uh, after a little... In locker room instruction from Coach Campbell and crew, and they're warming up, getting ready to tip this one off. It looks like it'll be our typical five starters we've seen in the first few games. And after uh, the last night against St. Paul Johnson's, Kevin, you alluded to the fact that there wasn't a lot of defensive uh, energy played maybe by the St. Paul Johnson crew. You know, I think, you know, the Wildcats shot very well, but Jeff Johnson was my color commentator that night, and he commented at one point that he hadn't seen Zach that open since seventh grade. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it does help, right? I mean, it does. You, you get double teamed, it's a little tougher, and then you play a team that doesn't know you that well, and yeah. <clears throat> Zach's eyes got like softballs a few times because he couldn't believe how open he was out there and was just banging them in. And Ariel, you alluded to a paint mm. flood in, it. Right. in the scoring out. column big that game. Se huh? 17 points, he came out. Career he's one high. Of those, yeah, he's one of those players that we need him. We need his activity, not only on defense and rebounds, but his scoring ability. He yeah. really injected a lot of energy and, and scoring into the team last year after coming off the bench. Um, he wasn't even on the bench. He was injured, right? And That's at the end right. of the season, we really peaked with his uh, capabilities out there on the floor. So it was really great to see that 17 points coming from him at St. Yeah, Paul Johnson. I'll say it again. That was a career high for Peyton Flood yeah. that night. Really cool. And yeah, just watching him in the warm-up here, knock one down. He's got just a nice, smooth stroke. And it's good to see him uh, getting in the scoring column. Might build his confidence, and he'll feel like uh, putting up a few more shots here tonight. Right. Hey, you know, or, I don't, maybe you guys already hit on it tonight, but I think one of the keys to victory tonight is the Twin Towers for the Wildcats. JT and Liam Doherty have got to play big and strong underneath the hoop tonight with their 6'9 frames. They really do. They really do. Eau Claire North doesn't bring a whole lot of height here. Eau Claire North will bring a lot of speed and quickness. We'll have to match up with them. Specific to that, I think we're going to see a lot of Michael Sherman and probably Reagan Pin now to try to match up with those kids. But as we were speaking earlier, the reality is that we have to match up well with them, but we have to really make other teams match up with us. We are the tallest, longest team in the conference. We should start forcing that issue on the floor. Yeah, good point, Ariel. You got the, the Doherty twins, and they usually have got a pretty good height advantage over uh, some of the other players on the other teams. Like Hudson tonight, you know, it right. seemed like there was quite a height advantage, but Hudson knows how to play inside, and they usually bring some physicality in there, so they just got to be ready for that. You know you're going to get that every night, probably in the big rivers, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, on the offensive side with the Doherty's, to play tall, I mean, it's – you know, you, you think about basketball and you get in that three-point position, you get low, but with the Doherty's, they had to play a little bit higher, you know, keep the ball up high, play high, play tall, um, play over your opponent, and I think they'll reap the benefits if they're able to do that. I'm just glancing across the floor here. There is a noticeable height difference Isn't it huge? from the Wildcats to a Claire North. Significant. Yes. Significant. Yeah. Without a doubt. So here we go, folks. We're winding down the... Uh, Actually, it's wound down in the warm-up period. We're getting ready for the public address announcements by David Bohurstein. Always does a nice job down there, Dave. You're the A-team of that. I hope Greg Peters isn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Greg, back of the bus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never for Greg Peters. <laughs> can you give us a little more one, and we can pick up the PA a little bit? There we go. There, no, they're on that machine there, yeah.
Thank you. Now please stand and remove all headwear as we honor America with our national anthem. Tonight's anthem will be sung by River Falls High School Junior Thomas Caribou. Thomas Caribou, high school junior from River Falls singing tonight. Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to Big Rivers Conference Basketball. I'm Kevin Westhouse, joined by play-by-play -play announcer Russ Blasius, color commentator Ariel Avestres, and Debbie Avestres getting it done on the computer. Here we go, Rusty, take it away. All right, thanks, Kate Ag, and welcome, everybody, to River Falls <coughs> High School. We're getting ready for what should be a good one tonight between our hometown River Falls Wildcats and the visiting Eau Claire North Huskies. Huskies now being announced the starting lineups. Uh, looks like Chad Crone, Dalton Banks, Ashton Kallstrom. Number 14, Luke Warren. And number 24, George Wilkinson will round out the starting five for the North Huskies, led by Coach Todd Marks. And now the lights go down, and here come your River Falls Wildcats. Oh, oh fireworks. Whoa. There we go. A little pyrotechnics. I like it. Here we go. Getting them ramped up here on a Christmas pre-weekend night here. Sam Simpson! <laughs> and number four, senior Mike Johnson. Another senior, number 11, Peyton Flood. And here come the juniors. Liam Doherty, number 15. Here's his brother. JT Doherty, and rounding it out will be number 23. Lefty, Zach Johnson, and the crowd is energized tonight. We're ready to go. K-Dog, when you said uh, Mr. Scott Simpson's son was the uh, manager of the game. I thought he might be taller than Michael Sherman, maybe, but he's, yeah, he's, he's close. right at his shoulder there. He's so. a big dude. He's he a 5'6", six, 6th six grader. Right. Whoa, I wasn't 5'6", I, was I was a junior. Uh, that's about me, too. Yeah. I was 5' foot at freshman year. I could touch the net, but, though. But how fun is it for those kids to be able to sit on the bench like that and... Uh, you know, that's pretty cool. That's, that's a good. They sit in the locker yeah. room, get the introduction. Wild. Hey, there we go. The cat stands jacked ready up. To go. They're all jacked up, and I can't a Mountain Dew. <laughs> Santa's in the house. Great atmosphere for basketball tonight here in the gym at River Falls High School. And tipping it up, JT Doherty will face number four, Ashton Kultstrom, and we're ready to play hoops. Tip is up, owned by the Cats. First possession, here's Peyton Flood, far side. Eau Claire North settling in, man to man. Ooh, had him open. Mike Johnson on the baseline, guarded by Banks. He'll back it in, kick it back out. Chad Crone draws Zach Johnson. Zach takes one up over the top, looked good off of the wrist. He really did. Bounce high and over the backboard, ball back to the uh, Eau Claire North Huskies for their first possession of the night. That's a tight rim. Yeah, it is. Man. Yeah, looks well, smooth from here. We had a good angle on that. That ball hit the front and launched up into the student section. 
Oh, I talked to the janitorial staff about that. Loosen a bolt is what you said okay. on our end. We're, we're coming out with a zone defense. I don't know if I've ever seen Zach Campbell's defense come out in this set. I think Very we might be boxing one with Peyton Flood staying with uh, Banks. Box one? Yeah. Oh, there they go. The and shot. they dial it up with a three-point shot by number 14, Luke Warren. Uh, just as uh, Coach Campbell alluded to in the pregame talk, Ariel, you know, last year we had an we kind of had an answer for Dalton Banks, but everybody else shot lights out. Right. So let's hope that's not the case tonight. Here's JT Doherty backing in, size advantage. Little rolling oh. shot runner, and it's good. That's what we want to see. Luke Warren is their high high percentage three-point shooter at 43%, so he's not shy, and he can hit him. Wow. Yeah, you, yeah I don't know if uh, Flood is... Oh, and they go inside to Kallstrom, Ashton Kallstrom, and it's 5-2 Huskies early in the game. Nice drive by Crone. Mike, there Johnson, go, Mike Johnson. Into the lane using the body, no good. Banks rebound, here come the Huskies the other way, looking to push it. Banks, he'll go coast to coast, little runner, no good. Rebound, Cats, here comes Zach Johnson. Fast-paced game thus far. Both teams looking to get it up and down. Nicely done, JT. JT Doherty says, I'll put that down and tie the game at five. Splash. Shot. Santa liked it. <laughs> nice to see that. Hopefully we'll have that positive virus on our team, right? <laughs> Where we start making those threes. So everybody starts making them. Uh, there's Warren again. He says, I'll match you, JT. Right. This is going to be fun if this keeps up. Right. You know, you focus on Dalton Banks, and these guys start flat firing those off. It's going to be interesting. Now, that, that set up there defensively, Ariel, was just a straight zone by the Cat. So right. maybe it wasn't boxing one, but it seemed like uh, Peyton, that first possession, was following Banks pretty tightly. But we'll see where we go from here. Cats with the ball, trailing three. Here's Mike Johnson. Oh, there's Flood. He'll drive. Good aggressive move. Ah, uh, they called him for a step. Just got caught off balance. Good drive and good look. He had JT Doherty on the baseline there. He did. I think he, it would have been nice to see him go straight up on that ball. He yeah. Was close, he was close enough. He could have gone up. And an early substitution for the Huskies into the game is number 22, Henry Wilkinson. Fastest start we've seen this year, boys. Yes, it is. Here's Banks out top. Entry, Kallstrom. Way there undersized, and he got done. caught in amongst the trees. Turnover. Here come the Cats. Mike Johnson guarded by Banks. Huskies uh, coming out with a tight defense. There you good go. Good dish. Good dish. Zach really Johnson, good great dish. look. JT Doherty went up for the flush. Love the movement. Got the foul. Drew the foul. He'll go to the line for two. That's what we need. We need to play them, have them play tall and, and tough like that. Great try by Zach Johnson. I love the energy we have so far going down low with our height advantage. Like Ariel, you lot. called it before the game. We, we have it. Let's use it. It seems like Coach uh, Campbell and his staff have kind of looked at that as well this week and have a pretty good game plan dialed up for getting some good looks. And yeah, we've got yeah. the wingspan. You just got to just muscle up right. a little bit down there and start to take control of the, of the lane. And JT Doherty knocks down both. That's a good start for JT. Hits a three, knocks down his first free throws. And it's a one-point game. The Huskies with the ball, kick pass. There's Warren, looks long, and it is. Rebound in there. Right, well, Crone comes the out of there with it. And there's Kallstrom, three, in and out. Peyton Flood, nice aggressive rebound. Good-looking rebound, Peyton Flood. And here comes uh, Lefty. JT Doherty. Cats patiently running the offense. Peyton Flood, good drive into the lane. Mike Johnson, nice aggressive drive. move. Good go spin. Right after Dalton. Right after Dalton, buddy. Soft kiss off the bank. Count it. Cats first lead of the game, 9-8. What I like seeing with the defense right now with the zone, we gave up a couple easy baskets right away, but now they're tightening it up. They're trying to figure it out. I'm, now that I call that, that <laughs> happens. Dang it. <laughs> good driving Thought dish there yep. by Crone. Calls from the recipient of the bucket. And it's back and forth thus far, just as we anticipated. Near steal, and it is stolen by Dalton Banks. He'll go in for the flush. He's fouled by Mike Johnson. No quitting Mike Johnson. He got the ball stripped from him. He didn't give up. He went down, and he did not let Dalton Banks put down the slam here at Wildcat Arena. It was coming, wasn't it? Yes, it was. 
First foul on Mike Johnson. That'll put Dalton Banks to the line. This will be his first shot of the night. Free throw line, correct? Right. And it's up and in, and it's a tie ball. Oh, I'm sorry. We're trailing 11-9. Banks for the second. A lot of energy here in the first uh, five minutes, not even a little over four minutes of this game. Banks can't convert on the second. Liam Doherty gathers it up, and we're going the other way with the Cats. Let's work it. Let's work it. Good patience. Game slowed down a little bit here. No, it's got to get out of there. The there you go. There you go. Up. There oh, good perfect. dish. Good dish, but good I recovery like defense yep. by Dalton Banks. He finds Callstrom. Callstrom, he'll go at the Doherty's. Can't convert. Here's Zach Johnson with the board. He's bringing it the other way. Peyton Flood. Back out top of the key, Mike Johnson thinks about a three, puts it up. A little short, no good. Warren with a rebound, and here comes Banks. Dalton's going to give that to him all the time. If you watch Dalton on that defensive set, he was at the free throw line watching him take that shot. No intention of going out there after him at all. Another rebound, Zach Johnson, dish. Peyton Flood, no good. Oh, Zach Johnson nearly took yes, it away from Warren. It. Here's Crone. Chad Crone in the lane. Gives oh, it up to Wilkinson, and Wilkinson off the bench gets a bucket. That's really a tough. sophomore Henry. Henry, and he's at six foot three, okay. But good use against six foot nine. Good use of his body. He really got good, good position, and here's the Cats running their offense. Peyton Flood, good entry pass to JT Doherty. I Can't like connect. Though. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. Here's Crone coming the other way. Banks trailing. Warren will keep putting it up. He missed his last two or three. He knocks that one down, does Luke Warren. And it's a seven point Husky lead. He's matching his stats, 43%. He's probably a little bit over that now. That's right. Zach Johnson driving in the lane, spin, caught off guard, off balance, travel. Coach Campbell is going to call a timeout. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of He's on two. I, not, just to change up, we got a better lineup to match up with now with man. So it's, we're just going man. So we got to make sure you shut off opposite lane line, right? So we deny that high flare. We make sure you shut off opposite lane line. We lost identity offensively. We were in a good spot with some back screens. Now the ball got on the deck, and we started finishing soft and flipping stuff off rather than just power dribble, explode to the rim and get that stuff. Stop going finishing soft. We're getting to the backboard. There we go. I think uh, translation there. He wants him a little bit stronger under the hoop, Russ and Ariel. Absolutely agree. And the really nice thing now is that they came out with his own defense. I'm sure coach at, uh, I can't remember, Todd Marks probably said, okay, they're playing that zone. Here's how we need to adjust because they came out thinking they were going to be playing man-to-man. -man. So now they're going to have to adjust. Let's see if we can turn the ball over a couple times here. And some more substitutions in the game. Michael Sherman and uh, Michael Tiffany in the game for the Cats. And number five, Eli Johnson in the game for the Huskies. Here's Dalton Banks. Peyton Flood draws the duty. Banks, that was tough. Banks goes around him in the lane off of Michael Tiffany's body, but he gets it to go, and it's 18-9, and here comes the Cats. Tiffany out top, guarded by Banks. Back to Tiffany. Here's Michael Sherman. Tiffany will put it up, the three-pointer, ah, and count it. To go. <laughs> and he gives the, the three-point headband salute. I love it. Semi-pro. <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of, his hair's about the right length for the semi-pro look yeah, right now. That's awesome. It's I love the longer. look. Let it grow longer, man. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to. That one whizzed right over everybody's head there. Just buzzed you guys. <laughs> you didn't even get it. I got it. All right, well. Okay. <coughs> so it wasn't that funny you're now saying. I was laughing in here. Oh, really okay, hard. yeah, sure you were. Yeah. No, so, Tiffany with the three cuts the lead to six. Here's nice Banks. defense, Peyton. He'll pull up inside the arc. No good. 
Michael Sherman boards it. He'll give it to Johnson. And here comes Zach, guarded by Chad Crone. Tiffany says, he check. Oh, off the front iron, no good. Feeling it. Chad Crone, the junior guard for the Huskies, will bring it up. Kallstrom, good quick step. Nice, Nicely nice. on Peyton. Nice anticipation defensively, Peyton Flood. Cats could use oh, one here. <laughs> Michael wanted to do that one too. Son of a gun. Zach Johnson can't connect. Here's Crow. Oh, oh. Oh. What are we? Oh, offensive foul. Charge. I think it was a travel first. But I thought it was a travel we'll first. Take too. We'll take it. Not many fouls called in this game thus far. No, just the second one. Is that on Callstrom? Yeah, yeah that was on Callstrom. One on Callstrom. That's the second. Yeah. Husky foul, and Reagan Pinnow in the game. Peyton Flood going to get a break. I just watched the replay here. It seemed to me that he, God, if he got if he got planted, it was right before he hit him. So the Cats looking to answer. The Huskies have come on em, come up empty the last couple trips. Oh, had him good there. defense by the Cats. They try to trap Tiffany. It leaves Michael Sherman far side, no good. And Chad Crone coming up with big with rebounds nice for defense. the Huskies. Nice defense, Michael Sherman. Way to get back there, buddy. Sherman with the steal, Zach Johnson bringing it back out. How did that kid get back there that quick? That was some He's hustle. He's just a quick kid. JT Doherty, no tough, good. Go up tough, go up tough. Johnson being guarded by Crone. There's Tiffany on the baseline. He'll kick it out to Pinnow. Sherman. JT Doherty and Zach Johnson yet to get a break here in the first half. We're inside nine minutes. Zach Johnson drives in the lane. JT Doherty will pull up from outside the arc and knock it down. It's 18-15. Second one tonight for the Doherty right. kid, I believe, huh? Yes, it That'll is. It'll be tough for Henry Wilkinson to guard that. If he can go down deep and shoot him from the outside, Henry's going to be doing a lot of running. That's a tough matchup, and Michael Sherman does draw the duty of guarding Dalton Banks, as you alluded to, yeah. uh, Ariel. Banks will put up a long three, no good. Reagan Pinnow, good box nice out. Blackout. Good body, and he gathers the board. The Cats looking to tie it or cut it to one. Sherman with it out top. Here's Reagan Pinnow, guarded by Johnson. Michael Sherman, three-point shot to tie it. Halfway down and out, Dalton Banks goes up and over. Tiffany comes out of there with it. He'll go coast to coast. Little runner, no good, but he draws a foul on Michael Sherman. I like how Michael got back, though. Yeah, he's got a lot of energy, a lot of hustle on Michael Sherman. It's fun to see. I like our offensive set when we set Mike, Michael Tiffany on the outside. If you watch Dalton Banks, he likes sitting in that lane. That's why he gets all those rebounds during the game. So if you can keep him out of there, and I like the fact that Tiffany has made a shot already, so he's got to respect that to a certain point so he can't be sitting down there all, all game long. Right. Good. Good point, Ariel, and into the game. There's several subs for the Huskies. Back in is Luke Warren, along with uh, Ashton Kallstrom, and in the game for the first time is number 40, Eli Persons. Dalton Banks hits the free throw, and it's 20-15, 7.50 to go in the first half. And here come the Cats the other way, Michael Tiffany out top. They trap Pinnow, good patience, gets it to... Tiffany and the Cats are working it back out top. Entry pass, Zach Johnson on the baseline. 12 footer, no good. Battle for the board. Luke Warren comes out of there with it. And if the officials are letting them play this first half, the thing that scares me with that a little bit is that we don't decide to not let them do that in the second mm, half. Right. Can't change it up. Be consistent. No, the you got to be consistent. And that's how you're going to call it. Be Jeez. be at this the whole game. Glass half empty type of guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm half full. I'm hopeful oh, they'll oh, let him play. You, there you go. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> Here's Warren. The Huskies setting their offense. Chad Crone and a direct in traffic for the North Huskies. Cats playing good D. There goes Banks. Ah, came out of the end line to Mike Tiffany to get the rebound. Dalton Banks, strong drive. He hasn't gotten those to go. A lot but of it has to do with we're, we're making him adjust it yeah. as, as he's going up for the basket. 
Michael Sherman's playing good D on him, and then he's getting a little help, and it's good recognition from the rest of the Cats team. Here's Crone out top. Oh, Luke Warren. Inbound play for a three-er, no good. Zach Johnson gathering up the rebounds tonight for the Cats. Here's Tiffany. Liam will try oh, one, nice. no good. Good hustle by Tiffany. Yeah, I thought Tiffany had that. I did too. Scoring has slowed down a little bit here. Yes, it has. Few minutes. A lot of energy exerted in uh, this first half by both teams. Lob pass, they get it to Banks. He draws the foul on Sherman and puts it in. That's tough. Two kick falls on Michael. We gotta give yeah. him some time. Subs coming back in. Peyton Flood and Mike Johnson back in. Reagan Pinnow and Michael Sherman going to get a rest. Both gave them good minutes. <coughs> Here's Dalton Banks at the line trying to finish a three-point opportunity. And he got the roll. It's in. And Dalton Banks is going to get a break. Eli Johnson back in the game. Eli, a 5'11 junior. Senior. He just made it to senior year, just as in that break. Liam Doherty. Here's Flood. Good entry pass. Tiffany in the lane, no good. Put back, no good. Number three. Oh! Ah. Tough. Good work in there, Michael. Tiffany kept it alive, kept it going. You earned it. You go to the line for two. It really is a difference on on the floor defensively without Dalton Banks down there. He's usually skying up there for those rebounds. It's, you need to take advantage of this period of time where he's on the bench at this point. It's an eight point game, but see if we can shave it down to five or four points. Yeah. Go ahead, and go ahead and let us know where you're tuning in from tonight. Love to see where you're at. Somewhere around planet Earth. Welcome aboard. Tonight's game brought to you by the First National Bank of River Falls. There you go, Michael, 17-23. Need a stop here. See what we can do. Be interesting to see how many points Callstrom has because he's their second leading scorer. I'm not sure if he's got any at this point. Yeah, it's not many if he does. And here's Crone with a drive and dish. Good, good defensive recognition and coverage there by mm -hmm. the Cats on those passes. So here's Callstrom out top, number four. He'll give it to Crone. Who's their offensive answer with Banks on the bench or who initiates the offense? Here's Crone, he'll drive in the lane, spin. Will runner no good. Zach Johnson's gathered up about his ninth rebound of the first half, it seems like, and he'll bring it the other way. Zach having a real nice night on the oh, boards. Oh, there he is. Tiffany, I'll try it, yeah, and I'll make it. And he gives the salute again. <laughs> I love it. So he's made two tonight. He only made one the whole beginning of the first part of the season. So semi pro he's with out a, there. Semi pro with a pair of threes. The he's flow, man. The flow. Feeling it. And oh, so it's Luke Warren. Luke Warren answers at the other end. That boy's a shooter. Here's the Cats. Mike Johnson out top. Peyton Flood. Double team. Kicks it to Liam. Chad Crone playing tight defense on Zach Johnson. Not worried about anything else except where he is. Here's Zach, far side, he'll drive in the lane, dish, flood. Drive on Callstrom, good drive, pull up, little strong, no good. Eli Johnson out of there with it. He kept his dribble according to the ref. Catsden didn't like it. They wanted to travel, Russ. Yes, they did. How did he get up without getting travel called on him. I think he started dribbling. Okay. Luke Warren again. That looked like it was going to go over the back of the backboard. That was a rainbow. And in it splashed. I think he's over his 43% average for the mm -hmm. season. We need to get, we need to couple down on him. His dad is right in front of us here, I believe, and he was pretty happy about that. Entry pass. Tiffany down low. He backs in, Warren. Can't get it. There's Flood. Like to see us work down. There you go. Liam Doherty count it. Good entry pass and bucket. Good call, Ariel. 
Very good call. The Husky defensive player went for the steal. He tried to jump that pass, missed it. Liam Doherty says, thank you. I'll put it in for my two. And it's 29-22 Huskies. Need a stop here. Get the ball back and score. Banks is coming back in the on the floor. Be great to get her down to five. That golly, Roscoe Ronick is in the game. Roscoe Ronick, number 20. No, no, no. Off the strap. It's coming back to Cats. Dumb. Roscoe coming back out of the game. Reagan Pinnell coming in the game, taking it over for Liam. <laughs> half of the experience, Carly experience half, is here half, in the house. Dang. Mike Cayley in the house. There he is. No. We're vanilla. We're vanilla. <laughs> no, just wait a second. I'm not quite vanilla. <laughs> here come the cats the other way. There we go. Trailing by seven. Pin out underneath. Looked oh, open. Yeah. Mike Johnson. Like a Patience. pretty good 10 foot chance there, didn't it? Patience. Here's. Pin now, he'll kick it. JT Doherty, flood see how in the Dalton's lane, good dish. Yeah. You see how Dalton just camped out down there? Yeah. Mike Johnson, good body control. Very nice. Five point the game. There you go, five points with coming into two minutes, 20 seconds left in the first half. Banks stop. will set it up. You need to stop. Driving the lane, dish, Kallstrom. Three pointer, That's count big. it. That's big. Huh? Ashton Kallstrom. They're making their shots, boys. Yeah, you need to pay attention to, to Dalton, but you, you can't take your eye off your shooter either. Zach Johnson, 15-footer, count it. That's what we need. Lefty knocks it down. 32-26, six-point six game. game. Here come the Huskies the other way. Ooh, Kallstrom's calling for it. Good entry pass by Dalton Banks. Inside, oh. got it to Wilkinson. Wilkinson scores it. That's Henry. Dalton Banks has good vision. You playing wisely. Pinnow picked up his dribble, now gets it to Flood. Double team leaves Pinnow oh. open. Thought about it. Yep, had him. So far, the jump trap double team is not yeah, good. Yeah, buddy. Zach Johnson. Step back jumper at about 17 feet. Count it with the foul. He'll go to the line. Big shot, Zach Johnson. A couple big shots there in the last minute, Russ. You betcha. Five-point game. Need a stop, gentlemen. Need a stop. 115 left. Got a shout out from a Eau Claire North Husky mom and fan. Co-worker of mine, Jenny Rathke, is listening in. Oh, that's cool. From Altoona. Very cool. I just got an all points bulletin and said we're a little hot on the audio. So on the <laughs> volumes, let, I'll just, I'll just get, get, get that's it what done. I thought, a little, too. A little bit a little here. A little hot. bit here. There there you go. Me I was hey, thanks, quiet. K-Dog. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I knew I didn't have to scream. Here's Banks in the lane. Pull up. Count it. He's a smooth shooter, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Not only smooth. is he athletic, but he is really smooth. And here come the Cats. We're inside a minute, first half. Reagan Pinnow, far side, Mike Johnson. There's the double team. Entry pass, far side. Ah, JT Doherty, good luck. It looked good again from here. It wouldn't go. Dalton Banks getting control of the Husky offense. Gets the ball back. They're going to set it up. Looks like they're going to run it down for one shot. So they're flattening out the offense. So it's just going to be basically a one-on-one. -on -one. They're going to start moving a little bit, but it's going to be mostly Dalton on this play. Counting down, 15 seconds. Banks con continues to dribble out top. Peyton Flood giving him room. I think we can all un probably guess what this is going to be. And there's a foul. The fouls to give. That was good move, Coach uh, Campbell. Here comes... Mike, Mike Sherman coming back in the game for Mike Johnson. Now, Mike Sherman cannot be your foul person. No, he, he has can't. two. He's got two already, right? Chad Crone get inbounded. I like the idea of give him the foul. Banks will put it up. Three-point land in and out. No good. Battle for the rebound. That's off the back of the board. Saved and off the backboard. It'll go to the Cats with .7 Seven. seconds to go. The ball is rolling 
to Beldenville. Speaking of obscure towns, we got Stone Johnson Vlogs. He, he's tuned in from Nielsville. He says he's got no idea how he landed on this game, but he's enjoying it. <laughs> oh, good. Excellent. Nielsville. We always like those fans, don't yeah, we? Like, hey, I, just I don't know how we found you. Popped up in their browser and bam. I like it when they say, what is this? What am I watching? <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to hopefully have Ty Boschelt, our seventh grader, who's our character last of the week. But you're also going to want to tee up Wildcat Trivia first. So. All right. Let's dial it up. Uh, Ariel, you have the question? I do but have the but, question, but, but, but we got to have the music. Just hold on. The music? Everybody just, yep. We gotta, we'll be, we're, Hopefully it's not copyrighted. <laughs> and we get and no, out. it's not. So let's go with our Nutty Squirrel is our sponsor. <laughs> so DR will be happy. Is this a Christmas question? So this is, <clears throat> yeah, so this is going to be a Wildcat trivia. This is for a $10 gift card to our sponsor, the Nutty Squirrel. Paula Flood has won it two times in a row. She's trying to go over that hat trick. Yes. So anyway. Call Powell. So here we go. Just a second here. Having won it two times in a row, people might be drumming up a conspiracy theory here. Could be, but she's a basketball information piece. Are you guys ready to go? Well, we are so ready what to you got to do is you got to text one of us or just go right in the comments oh. section and let us know. <laughs> Hold on, we got a question. Now, Russ is having a conversation. Ready to ask a question? Let's go. Sounds good. Uh, for DR's sake, this is a River Falls Wildcat uh, trivia question. So the question is this. It's two parts. Who is a former Wildcat standout that is now in his first year coaching Division Three college basketball, and where is he coaching? Again, two parts. Who is this player, and where is he coaching today? So, again, let's repeat the question one more time, Ariel. So, who former standout Wildcat basketball player is in his first year coaching a Division Three basketball team, and what is that basketball college name? This is for a $10 gift card to the Nutty Squirrel. And we'll see if we have Ty here tonight or not. I'm kind of looking around, looking for Ty Buschel. Is Ty around? You see Ty? Ty, come on over. Oh, here he All comes. right, here he comes. He wanna, why don't you give him the headset? Yes. And uh, we'll close. So, Ty, come put the headset on over here, Ty. And, Russ, you turn the, can't turn the camera around this way. All right? So, you put this on, Ty. I'm going to get my paperwork over here. Hold on. So, you're going to spin the camera around, Rusty. Ty, how you doing? Good. Hi. So, you see, uh, we're on the camera right here. So, Let's, uh, let's take this off here. Hold on a second. I'm gonna just going to put this right like this. And there we go. Ty, so now you get a little FaceTime. How about that? <laughs> so, Ty, help me pronounce your last name. Boschelt? Yes. Did I nail that? Yeah. Ty, I'm Kevin. Nice to meet you. All, I, all I've heard is really, really good things about you. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you were nominated uh, by John Witt and Chantel Torres. You know those two people? Yes. From your school? Yeah. Are they your coaches? Talk to us a little bit about those folks. Yeah, um, they were my basketball coaches this year, and they've been real helpful for me. And um, I think they've gotten me a lot better, and I just want to say thank you to them. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. It's always nice to have your name brought up in yeah. situations like this. Now, we celebrate a lot of things, good basketball players, good mm -hmm. athletes, but character is going to get you a long ways in yes. life. Yeah. Um, so talk to us a little bit about it. who's your... Uh, who is an impactful person in your life, Ty, that really has kind of guided you to make good decisions? Um, my parents, they've always been kind of like a good influence to me, mm -hmm. always positive. And I just, it kind of just stuck with me. And mm -hmm. I just always think being positive is really important. It is good. So, yes. so have you ever been scolded by your parents? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, like not playing the street, get your hand off the hot burner. Yeah. Those type of things, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But those type of things can also guide you, too. You know you know, yeah. you know your boundaries, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. But when you're doing good things, they're always praising you and letting you know that you're in the right lane, so mm -hmm. to speak, right? Yeah. So as a youngster, seventh grader, um, mm -hmm. there's got to be a lot of pressures, right? Kids want to pull shenanigans and do yes. stuff. And 
So what what helps you keep continue to make good decisions, Ty? Um, I just always think about like how people think of you, and just uh-huh. to say like if if you're if you're doing something bad, then you can. I feel like you can always get better at things, and mm-hmm. by not doing that, it kind of tells your personality and I just always wanted to have a good personality and not do anything that would ruin ru- would ruin what I've done. Right, and your reputation. I'll just give you a couple pointers that you're on already. As a, as a seventh grader, here's what you're already on and you know that a lot of kids don't know. Yes. You're going to make good decisions mm-hmm. and a lot of, you'll, you'll think that kids don't like you because of that or they think you're going to be kind of goofy because you're making good decisions. Yes. Actually, they're respecting you. Yeah. They are. They're good. When, when they go home, they are quietly respecting you. They, you know what they're saying to themselves? I want to be more like Ty. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. so you don't. You might not even know that, but that's actually that's actually happening. So continue to yeah. make good decisions. Yes. You'll have a lot of positive impact mm-hmm. on people, and you won't even know it for maybe 10, 15, 20 years. Someone will, someone will come up to you and say, Ty, boy, when you were a kid, I, I always kind of envied you because you're always doing the right things and yeah. making good choices mm-hmm. so that attitude will spread yeah that is awesome yeah that, i mean a lot of kids don't get that so that that's pretty dang cool ty that, yeah. you, that you can understand that um it's not always easy mm-hmm. because you know what it's easy to goof around and yes. make some bad choices but mm-hmm. for you to be able to grasp that and make those decisions yes <laughs> that's awesome let's see i'm gonna go to my question list i haven't stumped you yet and i'm pretty <laughs> impressed actually yeah. <clears throat> um let me see are you a goal setter? You, I mean, yes. I, I had no idea what goals were in seventh grade. I had no idea. So, so you set goals. You think about what you want to be, what you want to do, what you're yeah. good at. I, I always set goals for myself with sports, not mm-hmm. only sports but academics. Uh-huh. I try, I try to get better, and I always think that I can try to get better at things. So, yeah, that's really important. That's making good. goals. So, Ty, what's your favorite sport? Basketball. Is it basketball? Yes. Do you play other sports as well? Yeah, I play track and I. I, I just I did baseball last year. Uh-huh. I'm still kind of thinking if I'm going to do it or not. Stick this year. with baseball. It's a fun sport. Yeah, it, it is. seems kind of boring on the surface, but it's a lot going on with baseball. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's awesome. I, I tell you what, I'm not going to grill you much more. Do you have any words of advice for if any, if, you're, if any of your friends are listening or other kids? Li- what would you say? Give us briefly. What would be some words of advice to a young kid who's just trying to get by and, and realizes you know sometimes it's tough? Anything you want to say? Um, even though it's tough, I think it's always important to just like believe in yourself and just be a positive role model. Like, mm-hmm. like just like I said with my parents, I think that it's really important to be a positive role model. Yes. And just so if you're in a bad um, position, then you can. I feel like you can always get better, and you can, you can just do things that you might not know you think you can do. But that's you can accurate. Do better. That's awesome. I'll give yeah. I'll give you one more bit of advice just because I have you up here and you can't go anywhere because the cord's only six yeah. feet long. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, life isn't always easy, right? Yes. <laughs> Bad things happen to good people. You could be have a tough class. You got a friend that uh, all of a sudden is befriending you. They don't like you anymore. I mean, life is tough. And yes. To navigate through life, here's what you have to have, and I can already see you have a lot of it. Yeah. Coping skills. Mm-hmm. Figuring out yes. how when things don't go good, to know that tomorrow will be better than today. Mm-hmm. You know, yes. it, it, you get in bad bad grooves all the time, but know that there's always brighter days ahead. Yes. As you're going to work through these things, you're going to learn from bad days. Yes. You're going to grow from bad days, and you know that ahead is a lot of sunshine. Yes. So yeah, perfect. That's awesome. I tell you what, Ty, we're a pretty low-budget operation. And I did, can't give you a trophy or a brand yeah. new car parked outside uh-huh. or nothing like that. But I did mm-hmm. give you this. So John Wooden, he was the coach of UCLA for yes. many, many years. And he mm-hmm. developed this thing called the uh, Pyramid of Success. So here's the Pyramid of Success. I'm going to give this to Ty. Maybe something you can put up in your bedroom. You can read it sometime. But it starts with enthusiasm, cooperation, loyalty, friendship, and industriousness right in the very bottom of this yes. thing. And it builds all those ways, all its ways up, including, you know, Faith and fight up at the top. Go ahead and read this sometime, Ty. Put it up in your bedroom. All right, thank Keep you. Keep up the good fight. <laughs> and uh, loved having you up here. Congratulations. Thank you. Character after the week. Thank you. All right, very much. Ty Boschelt. Boschelt. Yep. Boschelt. I yeah. did help with the first time. Ty, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Have a great night. You Best too. Best of luck to you. I'll take your headset. All right. All right, thanks, Ty. Great job. Right here. Boom. Nailed that. What a great interview. You guys tied up there? <laughs> yeah. I would just, when Russ gets his headset on, I want to say a few things. Oh, 
Russ, Russ, now that you have your headset on, Ariel got a chance to listen to that. I did. Pretty impressive, wasn't it? it? He spoke as well as I did tomorrow. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, that seventh grader, Ty uh, Bushell, he had a lot of things figured out. He did. That I'm still trying to figure out. I mean, <laughs> what a kid. I That's mean, awesome. Yeah. There Character he, athlete of the week. Right. And uh, he said, you know, I'm putting up the good fight, and I'm not always a popular kid, but I'm doing the right thing, kid. Yeah. Awesome. That's so. good. That's your character athlete. Character athlete of the yeah, league right there. That's awesome. Ty Boschel, he deserves that. There's no doubt about it. Hey, another thing I want to do, um, let's, yep. let's go to this one right here. Let's talk a little bit about the River Falls Sunshine Fund.org. Last week we had Scott Moore set up here. He was talking a little bit about the Sunshine Fund.org. <clears throat> so if you don't have a box of Kleenex, you might want to get one right now and then get, get open up another tab in your browser because you're going to want to go to River Falls Sunshine Fund.org. And maybe the offering plate's coming around and put a few bucks in there for this family right here. This is Family 30. They want to rename, name, uh, remain anonymous, Russ and Ariel and Debbie. But here's what happened this week to Family 30. A father who has two kids in our school district recently passed out due to a seizure. He was rushed to the hospital only to find out that he has a tumor the size of an egg growing in his brain. I have to take a sip of water. Hold on. He recently had brain surgery to remove the tumor and has had many tests run to see the tumor, if, if, to see if the tumor is cancerous or not. He's still in the hospital, and he and his family are patiently waiting for the results to come back. Um, the Sunshine Fund gave their maximum to this family. So we're asking our viewers tonight, this is a local family. And you, many of you probably know who this is. We don't want to say on the air. They want to remain somewhat anonymous, but I'm sure people do know. Um, you know, here's a family right before Christmas, and Dad's in the hospital. And they don't know what's going to happen. So, if you can, River Falls Sunshine Fund. dot org. There it is. Open up another tab in your browser, surf through that, and you can put a note in the note section at the very end. It says Family Thirty. If you want to direct it towards this father who has two kids in our school district who recently <coughs> had a tumor that has an egg in, a, in his head this week. So anyway. Kevin, thanks Thank for bringing you. that story, and you're right. You need the Kleenex, and you need to go to that browser and dial it up, and I'm glad you uh, explained the process. If they can put notes in there that yeah, it supports can. Family 30, that's what you need family to do. Family 30. And uh, we thank uh, all of the River Falls family of uh, basketball fans, of just general community members that we know will do the outreach and support this family as we always yeah. do. So let's rally again River Falls and do what we can to help these people through, you know, yeah. this supposedly and usually festive time. Uh, it's been dampened a little bit for them, so let's yeah. help them out. Yep. And every dollar will help, I'm sure, at this point as, I'll tell you what, those hospital stays aren't cheap. They'll shake you up for a million dollars pretty quick. Yes, they will. So here we go, second half of basketball. Boy, I saw I got a little choked up right there. It didn't happen often. That's Sorry all right, that. J-Dog, mm. for a good reason. That's a good thing to support. Thanks for bringing that to everybody's attention. Here we go. And Sec right now we're back to basketball here. Second half begins. The North Huskies will have the first position, leading by seven. And here's Dalton Banks driving into the lane, bodied up. He'll kick it out. There's Crone. Crone, three-point shot up. It's short. He went down, but no foul. The ref was right there. Zach Johnson comes back the other way, and Crone hustles back and blocks it on the other end. Bodies on the floor. And that's Big Rivers basketball right there, boys. <coughs> it's a scrap. It's a scrum. They're all in a big pile. We have Amy Engrav from uh, watching from Winona, Minnesota, for the Go Huskies, cheering for the Eau Claire North, especially the Wilkinson brothers. Thanks for joining us this evening, guys. Hey, Grandma and Grandpa Doherty are from Holcomb. Are tuned in. All right. Cats gain the possession. Good drive, Zach Ooh. Johnson, but the referee says he stepped out of bounds. Ball will come back to the Huskies. Hey, did we have a winner with our trivia? Oh, we, we did. actually did. We actually Is did. Is it DR? Well, no, he didn't have. He said he didn't have a clue. He said no clue. So um, the interesting part is I was getting texts from folks. Uh, Craig Davis, thanks for uh, trying to trying to defeat uh, Paula Flood. But the reality is Chris Blaze just came in on a win. No way. Absolutely. <laughs> Answer was Lance Westberg, and he is coaching at Houghton College up there in Houghton, New York. Mm. Yeah. Drive Craig. by Banks, no good, and. Uh, 
Chris Blasius, I thought she was packing for me at home. No, <laughs> clearly not. She can, she can multitask, Russ. Got the game on in the background. <laughs> Zach nice Johnson job, scores the GT. other end. Dalton Banks brings it back and slapped into the cat's den wow. by J.T. Doherty. That, had, that was kind of emphatic. Yes, it was. Love that help. Michael Sherman back in the game, and he's drawn the task. And there's oh, Dalton Banks. The answer to the overrated <laughs> statement. Yeah, he right? did. <laughs> yeah, the cat stand was giving him the overrated <laughs> chant, and he just went and laid one right in right in front yeah, of him. you got to love it. Nice drive, Michael Sherman. Nice dish to Mike Johnson. You bet. The Mike to Mike connection. A lot of mics in that one. Hey, Noah Dixon, Tiff's cousins from Wanakee are tuned in. Tiff, that must be Michael Tiff in a... I love the one answer. Lisa J uh, said McGuire Flood, who's coaching, but not at the Division Three level. <laughs> and a good no-look pass, Dalton Banks. Luke Warren, the recipient of the bucket under the basket. Seven-point lead. Cats trying to cut into it. Good entry pass. Oh, Mike Johnson looked like he had a lane to the basket, but he kicks it back out. Here's Zach, lefty in the lane, little runner. Off the back iron, no good. Banks, Mike Johnson battles him, gets it, goes up, fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Foul, I believe, on Dalton Banks. Nice battle, Mike Johnson against Dalton Banks. Make him work for that. Mike, a, go ahead. I was just gonna, I was just going to say Mike Johnson doesn't miss many shoulders days in the gym, does he? No, he doesn't. No, he's a well-put-together young man. Plays well under the basket. A little strong on the free throw. He'll get the second. And back in the game is number 22, Henry Wilkinson for brother, we think brother, George. George is like, what's up with that, man? I'm the older brother. And that one's short, but Mike Johnson battling for it. Luke Warren comes out of there with it. Here's Dalton Banks. I think they are the Wilkinson brothers, according to uh, Amy who's watching. Ooh. Banks drive off the back of board. No good, but he'll go to the line for two. Foul on Peyton Flood. Peyton Pony Boy Flood draws his second foul, first on the Cats in the second half, and only one on the Huskies. Banks at the line, shooting yes. at the basket with the Cats dead behind it. He's a little strong on the first one. He, was, he missed, I think he was one for two in the first half, too, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, maybe a little more than that. First, second one's a little short. Son. Rebound Wilkinson, put back, blocked, but a foul with the body on J.T. Doherty. Yeah, that's his first. Really no one in foul trouble, right? There were very few fouls in the so, first yeah. half. Pretty light. Yeah. Let, letting them play, boys. Yeah. <clears throat> Wildcats got to put a lid on this thing, though, boys. And uh, you know, I don't think you want to want to start trailing by double digits. Uh, good point, K-Dog. And Henry Wilkinson hits them both. Happy the Huskies mix it up. Sorry, Ariel. Henry is a good player, but I'm happy to say he's not as good as Henry Ellenson, right? <laughs> yeah, right. He said that name way too much in those four years he played. We saw that Henry far too often. Mike Johnson, good rebound, controlled his feet like a wide receiver on the sideline. Cats moving it around. They get it on the baseline, Zach low. Johnson. Let's work it low. See Michael Johnson's out there all by himself. Offense. Is that, is that what you had? Yeah, that could have been a no call. He lowered himself a little bit, and I think that's why they, they called the offensive. Might have been some acting involved there. Kind of a loud slap when he hit the floor, too. Yeah, it was. Here come the Huskies leading by nine. Banks, it's the Dalton Banks hour here in the second half. That's Fade away, count it. That's a tough shot. It really is. The offense right now is Dalton Banks at the top of the key, drive it into the lane and either take it or find someone to dish to. And the jump trap caused some confusion for the Cats. Ball knocked out of bounds, but it'll stay Wildcat basketball. 
trailing by 11. Jeez. Pete Noreen sporting the holiday beard. Really? Right here. I thought it was his dad. <laughs> Tiffany fires one up, no good. Rebound Wilkinson. Here comes Kallstrom the other way for the Huskies. He'll spin in the lane. Shot up, batted off the backboard by JT Doherty. That was an important stop. We're down by 11 right now. We need to do this. We, we need to transition this one. There we go. Peyton Flood, strong drive. Has to kick it back out. Here's Zach Johnson, top of the key, three-pointer. It's up and it's good. Big basket for the Cats and big basket That's by huge. lefty. He was due. Game. He was due. Carlin's like, okay, I got to get out there a little bit closer now. And Crohn has played good defense all he night. Has. He's stepped back there. Dalton Bank shot up and in. 15-footer. So Timeout, Todd Marks and the North Huskies. And we're going to see if we can dial up Coach Zach Campbell. Full timeout. Coaches are going to talk about it. First National Bank of River Falls, our sponsor, downtown River Falls in Prescott and on the campus of University of Wisconsin, River Falls. <clears throat> He's on the two-ski. Let's see if we get him. Yeah, thank you, everybody. Jeff Johnson and gang at uh, First National Bank of River Falls. Great community support and presence. Thank you for all you do. Here we go. Let's see. Yep, we got him. Oh, yeah. Hey, good job on adjustment to two there on the fly. Getting back. Make sure you get to the hole right away on that thing, and then we're checking opposite with it. We're trying to attack that when they go. What the, that's good. We're going to make him keep going ISO. We've got him squared up, but in transition, it needs to be a wall. It can't be a jab and poke at him. He's going to hit step back jumpers. We're in with it. If he's going to keep going ISO, he's not going to have legs at the end of the game anyway. You just keep squaring him up. On this side, you got to run action, though. We hit a couple shots. I'm not asking you to slow it down, but I'm asking you to be efficient with it, not panic and go ISO ball on us. Stay together. Let's go. Hey, the Ocho has nothing on us. <laughs> Dodgeball, man. Dodgeball. That, yeah. that, that's some pretty good uh, in the huddle right there. That's that it is. That's awesome. That's a good that's a good addition to the old broadcast there, K Dog, over the years, bringing yeah. that in. Yeah. It began with you had to watch it on Tuesday and the game was played on Friday. Here we go. Here come the Cats, trailing by 10. Important possession. JT Doherty kicks it back out to Flood. Peyton Flood, not a lot of offensive opportunities. There's Michael Sherman, three point shot up, no good. Dalton Banks with a rebound, he'll bring it. He's pushing it. Little runner in the lane, batted from behind by JT Doherty. He had Warren open on the far side. Oh. He took the shot. There's Peyton Flood driving in the lane. I like the aggression. Dump pass stolen by Banks. I like to see. I'd like to see Peyton just finish that off. Banks will bring it, draw the foul. He'll go to the line. Is that on Sherman or is that on Zach? Uh, twenty-three. Zach jumps. That's his second. Trailing by 10. Banks at the line. Dalton Banks has kind of taken over offensively this half for the Huskies. It's just been drive, Ariel. It is. He, he drives it deep. We we suck it down there, and then he comes back out and takes a little right. short jump yeah. shot. It's how, how are you supposed to guard that? You, you almost have That's to double tough. team that. You do, and then if he starts dishing it, you've got right. the three-point shooters. He has a shot real well from the line, so here's his second. And that one rolls off the front iron and in. He's a pretty complete basketball player, isn't he? Yeah, he really, really is. is. He sees the floor very well. He's a team player. He really, you know, dishes the ball, distributes it very well. Preseason rank, he was the number two senior in the state. Yeah, and tough that drive. That was and a really tough drive against that defensive player in, in Dalton Banks. That was huge, Zach Johnson. You bet. Zach Johnson showed his strength and ability to drive and kiss it off the glass. Need some stops now, fellas. Banks will pull up from beyond the arc. Count it. First he drives and step back. Peyton Ponyboy Flood says, ah, what do you do? You can't stop that. Here's Sherman guarded by Eli Johnson in the game for uh, the Huskies. First Time on the floor here in the second half. Banks guarding Michael Tiffany. Entry pass Tiffany knocked away by Banks. Hustled by Crone and it's saved by Banks. Here come the Huskies. Bounce pass, Wilkinson, reverse layup, count it. Time out, catch. Big run, big run by Eau Claire, 
K Dog, you nailed it with complete basketball player. That just showed it right there. Really yeah. Did. yeah, I Eau Claire North has really found a rhythm this half and uh, kind of taken it to the Wildcats. Yes, they have. They're living up to the rankings. They're living up to what they've done so far with their five games that they've won so far uh -oh. this season. Here's the Cupid shuffle. Anybody dancing? Oh, the cheerleaders are going. Where if we could get some of the referees to do that? Santa's trying it. Cupid shuffle. We'll get this going through the season. They're not buying what we're selling right now, Ariel. <laughs> <laughs> the little girl is up on top. <clears throat> that, that little run, that, that's good event. Ain't, ain't going to keep shooting that shot. Let him keep shooting that shot. We can't lose hustle plays. And we ran back-to-back -back hustle plays, and then we tried to lunge at the pass around and move quicker. They're just moving faster than us right now, and that's a discipline part with our feet. We get us back in the game. You're great offensively. Stay right where you're at offensively. Defensively, just keep making them shoot over the top. Let's go, man. Let's go, Hey, make an awesome play. Make a difference here. <laughs> it's catching on here. It is. Yeah, pretty soon you and are going to be doing it up here. I mean, Jeez. the Cupid shuffle. She does it. She does it well. What doesn't she do well? She's been an outstanding person on the computer again tonight. Yes, I know she that. has. Here's the Cats out of the timeout. Reagan Pinnow back in the game for the Wildcats. He's got the ball out top. Peyton Flood, drive, dish to Tiffany. Knock away out of bounds off the Huskies. It'll stay Cats ball. Yeah, I was just going to say, too, I hope you folks at home appreciate the score and the scoreboard because Debbie hasn't, Debbie hasn't looked up in the last 90 minutes. <laughs> Kyle Greenland in the game for the Huskies. And there's a rebound by Wilkinson. And here comes Dalton Banks, number three, bringing it the other way for the Huskies as they lead by 14. Peyton Flood out top, guarding Banks. Greenland setting the screen behind the back pass. Ah, Eli Johnson almost went out of bounds. Dish to Greenland. No good. Rebound. Liam Doherty. And here comes Zach Johnson in the Cats, bringing it the other way. Someone needs to get hot here for the Wildcats. Tiffany thought about it. He'll give it back to Zach Johnson. Good entry pass to Tiffany. There we go. There we go. Liam Doherty, bucket and foul. Six nine, Liam Doherty. Got position, got the pass, put it up, fouled. I guess that was on Eli Johnson. Liam Doherty to the line to try to convert on a three-point play, correct? Correct. There we go. Yes, it is. 13-point game, 11 minutes left. Dalton Banks and the Huskies. Here's Kallstrom to Crone. Eli Johnson, far side. Wilkinson, one of the Wilkinson brothers. Oh, oh out of control, Dalton Banks. Good defense. Really Peyton good Kuhl, defense. Pony Boy Flood, and here's Zach Johnson. Tiffany. Coach Todd Marks. That looked good from the get-go, a little short. short. Ball out of bounds off the Cats. It'll go back to the Huskies. We got Peyton Flood uh, a little gimpy there. I'm not sure exactly what, he, what happened at that during that play. So Bri Brianna Banks, I'm not sure if she's the mother or sister or cousin of Dalton, but she's being a little hard on uh, Dalton. She says, make your free throws. <laughs> <laughs> in the comment section. <laughs> yeah, Kari LaPointe uh, tuning in too. Kari is from River Falls. Actually, she lives in River Falls now, but is originally from Eau Claire North. Thanks for joining, Kari. Real nice crowd tuning in tonight. Yeah, there is. Oh, good look, Dalton Banks. Easy bucket, Wilkinson foul, Mike Sherman. One of the things that Coach Campbell said before the game started is he, he talked about growth for the team and how they've developed through, the, through just four or five games so far. If you look at the team last year, we lost two 
Eau Claire North here, 62-39. We did lose Eau Claire North at Eau Claire North, but it was 63-61. So keep that growth up. But this is a tough game. I think we still have time to, to pull it out. But the one thing I do really like about what's happening with the team tonight is their energy is there. Yes, it is. Reagan Pinnow, three-point shot up nice and in. Done. The sophomore, Reagan Pinnow. Knocks one down, cuts it to 10. And here's Banks will walk it up for the Huskies. That was a big shot. We needed that. Yeah. Zach Johnson getting a break. Reagan was two for three at St. Paul Johnson the other evening, so takes those shots. Ah. Oh, my. Basket short by Banks. Rebound, Chad Crone. All six foot of him, and he puts it back up and in and draws the foul. And it's six foot might be a stretch. Right. Yeah. Hey, would it be fair to say this is the best team we've seen this year? I, I would so. say so by far. Mm -hmm. And Crone connects, uh, converts on the free throw, and it's back to a 13-point lead. Michael Sherman, the sophomore for the Cats, will bring it up. Peyton Flood, far side Sherman. Here's Mike Johnson. Flood. Cats moving the ball around the perimeter. Liam Doherty posting up. Banks will double team. Mike Johnson, strong drive. No call. A lot of contact. Wow. A lot of body. body. Layup is good. Body's flying everywhere. Shoes coming off. The whole thing. <laughs> he took Wilkinson right out of his sneakers. One of the keys on that is Dalton Banks is actually guarding Michael Johnson, but he left Michael alone completely on the outside there. As soon as Michael saw that space, he took it and went into the hoop. That's exactly what you need to do. Good play. Michael Johnson converts, makes a layup. Thought he might get a chance at a three-point play, but there was no call. And Banks will bring it the other way. Cats playing a little uh, trapping defense. That was a good move. Ashton Kallstrom will take it in the lane, make the left-handed layup. Cats making buckets. The Huskies seem to be answering. Cross-court pass. Pinnow back out top. Here's Sherman. Mike Johnson, free throw line, guarded by Warren. He'll back him in. Oh, and a travel. A slide of the pivot foot there, maybe? Yeah, I think uh, Warren got out of the way of the body, and Mike Johnson was expecting a little resistance there, and it wasn't there. I feel like it. <laughs> Marissa Basie said that Chris can't win. Is that because he's part of the family? But Marissa, aren't you? Basie seems to not work either, does it? No, yeah, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Marissa. <laughs> Our rule list is pretty short, and, and you know, we, don't have, we don't we don't have much fine print anywhere. No. I, I'm plenty happy that Chris Blazius was the winner of that. That's a lot of hams for me down there, that's $10. About, that's, that's about, I want it's about six hams. Don't you think? Yeah. I would say. Hey, gonna, thank you to the Nutty Squirrel once again, huh? Absolutely. I think you have the coupon, so just text yourself the coupon. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I'll let, if I still have it. I'll let Chris Grove know. So what I do is I always go on and let Chris Grove give her the message who the winner was. So oh, we good. don't. So we don't get any imposters down That's there right. trying to cash in coupons. I like the first winner though. He didn't he take a picture of himself, a selfie with his license. Yeah, yeah. that was good. That's official, man. That's official. Now yeah. we got a little bit of different defense here. Two, two, one, two. Is that what I'm seeing? Here the chat. The challenge with this defense is this: is that they can run clock off. There's eight minutes left. Right. We, we need a trap. We need to make them move. We're down 13. Yep. Got to make that pass and then trap. Yep. Wilkinson shuffled a little, no call. Here's Banks on the baseline. Yeah, they Pinnow might, guarding him. They might never shoot Ouch. again. Why would you? Sherman guarding Banks out top, right about the midcourt line. Long pass, Warren. Three-pointer up and in, and Luke Warren knocks down. What is that, 4-5? Yeah, you could see Mark saying, go far out. He, he pointed to him and said, go deep. Go deep on that side, and they got the ball to him, and he made it. Oh, ah, Banks with a steal. And the big little guy up and down, slam dunk, Dalton Banks, 64-46, Huskies. A flush. There's your D1 player. A flush. Number two there. player in the state. And 
JT Doherty misses. Good rebound. Peyton Flood and Dish back to a cutting Doherty, and Doherty puts it in. Needs some stops. Needs some stops. I like what Zach Campbell's doing. He's changing up the defense here and there to see what they're going to do. He changed it up again. Now it's back to man. And, yeah, I, good idea to switch it up. Now we got to go back man. we got to put a little pressure. The game's got to get a little faster for the Cats so we get our possessions. <laughs> oh, good defense. Peyton Flood nearly a steal. Kallstrom comes out of there with it and gets the touch shot off the glass and in. It's really tough. And the Huskies looking to take away a road win here. The Cats going to have to battle back in the last six and a half minutes. There's Reagan Penn on far side. Ball knocked away by Crone. Off of Crone's foot and out of bounds. And back in the game for the Huskies is number 20, Roscoe Renock. And Henry Wilkinson's going to get a break. Michael Tiffany going to inbound it right into Zach Johnson. Thought about a three. He'll kick it back to Tiffany. Ball knocked away from behind by Banks. Calls from the other way. Knocked away from behind by Reagan Pinnow. Ball out of bounds off the Cats. That looked like it might have gone off of Kallstrom's leg, but no call by the official. Santa Claus didn't seem to argue it, so mm -hmm. I guess it's right. We're good. Wildcats running out of time, boys. Here's Banks. This will be a tough matchup right out here. I'd stay deep. Stay deep, Mike. Don't go out there. Dalton Banks drive, stop and pop at about the free throw line extended. Couldn't get it to go. He's fouled by Michael Tiffany. That's Tiffany's first. That'll put Banks to the line. And whoever gave the shout out to make your free throws. He's been making them. He might have heard it. He knocks down the first. Brianna Banks says make your free throws well. <laughs> he, he put some good juju out there because he's making them. And he knocks down both of those. It's a 20-point lead for the North Huskies here at uh, River Falls Wildcat High School Gymnasium. Michael Sherman, double-teamed out top. Ball knocked away. He gathers it back. Pinnow, cross-court pass. Zach Johnson. He'll spin in the lane. Little runner. Jump, Jump ball. ball. Tied up. Defense. Tied so, up by Chad Crone. He started off with that skip pass. Crone actually closed out on that skip pass to Zach Campbell, excuse me, Zach Johnson, before he even caught the ball. He used his eyes for some speed on that one. Really good, really good basketball, and then he closed it out by creating that jump ball. Nice defense. The Crone family has been in the North basketball program for longer than I would want to remember. Uh, yeah, I've had. Uh, they've, all, they've been some good players, yeah. all of them. So. Played against our youngest son, Eric, too. Three-point shot, no good by uh, Dalton Banks. Here's Zach Johnson with another rebound, and he'll bring it the other way. And Reagan Pinnow, guarded by Banks. Good drive, Peyton Flood. He'll kick it to J.T. Doherty. Knocks down about a 17-footer on the baseline. 68-50. The Huskies will slow it down. Yeah, they're going to slow it down. We need some stops. We need to get some turnovers. Huskies setting up their offense. Crone far side. Trying to enter the Kallstrom. I think Dalton's probably the most complete player we've seen in a number of years here. I mean, we, yeah. had, ja we had Jackson Notek, who was MVP two years in a row. Outstanding player. Really, really long. But Dalton really brings a lot of different parts of the game. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he might be. He's a pretty complete player. He is. It's been a while since we've seen someone like that in the conference probably. Here's Kallstrom. The Huskies content, content to run their offense and run a little time off the clock. There's a picked up dribble. Backdoor pass. Reverse layup good by Kallstrom. I'm guessing Eau Claire is probably in layups right. only, right? Yeah, they might be. That play was... Peyton Flood, three-point shot up. A little strong. Pin out, rebound. Oh, he couldn't get it to go, but he drew the foul on Chad Crone, I believe. That backdoor cut that just occurred right there on Reagan Pennell is a function of the fact that we need to get steals, so they're going to be putting pressure on. There's some, unfortunately, that's going to be given up here and there, but yeah, that's really what we need to do. We need to force the play. We need to steal the ball. 
Reagan Pinnow, the sophomore, can't get the first to go. This game doesn't feel like a 20-point game, but it Oh, is. it doesn't, no. You know, you think of these kids, uh, they're all young, they're energetic, obviously they're in good shape, but boy, the, the Huskies conditioning, you know, Chad Krohn hasn't seen much uh, time off the court. No. And um, same with Zach Johnson for the Cats. He got a little break here, but I think he played the entire first half. Takes a lot of energy out of you, but they got it. They'll bring it every night. And here comes Dalton Banks walking it up. Here's Kallstrom, far side, Crone, Wilkinson back in the game. Backdoor pass, wasn't there. Crone will drive, left-handed layup, no good. Put and back. And he got his own rebound. Chad Crone. Really good play, really yeah. good play. 72-51, Eau Claire North. Jenny Rathke, good thing we didn't put anything on this game. JT Doherty knocks down one from beyond the arc. Well, it doesn't get any easier for the Wildcats over Christmas break. They're headed down to Milwaukee to a right. small tournament. They're yeah. playing a couple of uh, those Milwaukee schools, and they'll be uh, also very tough matches for the Wildcats. Right. That's a good experience for the kids, good play teams. Uh, see what you got. You only get better by playing the best, right? That's Absolutely it. Absolutely agree. Absolutely agree. <laughs> That's the advantage of us playing in the Big Rivers Conference. I agree, Ariel. This is always good competition, and once tournament time comes around, playoff basketball, we'll see where we're at. Timeout right. on the floor, Coach Todd Marks of the Huskies calls it. Looks like it's a full timeout, and we will go to the coach, Mike, and see if we got it. Uh, Brianna Banks is older sister. Oh. All right. Thanks for tuning us in, Brianna. Welcome. Nice job, sis. Chris, don't forget my Oklahoma University holiday sweatshirt. So <laughs> if, she, if she's got the suitcase open and she's packing a few items right now, <laughs> throw, throw the Oklahoma Sooner sweatshirt in there, would you? <laughs> I'm guessing that things are being unpacked. Right, that's, right. That's I keep babbling here. You're not going to need the Hams t-shirt then, I guess. Well, I might need that. <laughs> so what's the bar What's the bar in Scottsdale that you recommend for Debbie and I to go to? Oh, the uh, <laughs> rusty, rusty Spur. The oh, Rusty Spur. Oh, that is a great place. Did yeah. you enjoy the Rusty uh, Spur? I really enjoyed yeah. the music there. How about Psycho Billy Band at the, the Rusty Spur? The, Did you get to the, hear Psycho Billy Band? The Psycho, the one guy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. T Psycho, Psycho Billy, I like his one sign that says, Tip Tipping <laughs> is not a town in China. <laughs> 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 now, the Rusty Spur in downtown Scottsdale is a fun spot to go. We, we mentioned earlier a little bit about Jackson Notek and being the MVP for two years in a row. Right now, his team, NDSU, is playing Marquette, down in Marquette this evening. So good luck to you, Jackson Notek and North Dakota State. Yeah. Fun to see a uh, River Falls boy playing at North Dakota State. That's awesome. Right. Jackson get a little playing time? He's getting a little bit more. He scored eight points in their last game, so it's good to see. When, good for when, him. When he does get out there, he does score. Speaking of North Dakota State and Wildcats, I see Joe Stoffel uh, yeah. just signed with NDSU for football just right. the other day. And NDSU is playing in the semi national semifinal tomorrow, Saturday, against Montana State. Mm -hmm. Where we have Logan Gretz, former standout quarterback, playing up there. He's redshirting this year, but. He was suiting up, I saw a little bit. Yeah, he was. He. Uh, He's definitely redshirting, and he's, he plays on the scout team for practices and does really well there. Ashton Kallstrom converts a, a layup at that end Travel for call. the Huskies, and we got an offensive foul on Zach Johnson as he went to the hole to the basket, ran into Dalton Banks, and there's an offensive foul, and into the game is going to come Isaiah Gray. Michael Tiffany, Reagan Pinnow, and Liam Doherty are all coming in. Peyton Flood, Sherman, J.T. Doherty, and who? Michael Johnson. Zach Johnson is coming out of the game. Mike Johnson is staying in. Well, North is doing to River Falls what North did to Hudson. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. He called it. The Huskies still with their starters on the floor. Here's Crone, drive, kick it back out. Wilkinson, Henry. Dalton Banks. So 76-54, 
The Huskies are going to have the ride back to Eau Claire with a victory under their belt. Dalton Banks spinning, fadeaway shot, no good. Tiffany will get the rebound, and he'll bring it up. Mike Johnson drives, brings it back out. Here's Isaiah Gray. Pinow out top. Liam Doherty. Entry pass, Mike Johnson backs in. A little nice kiss move. off the glass, count it. Well, the Eau Claire North fans must have found us because our viewership is going up exponentially right now, and I'm not lying to you. Or is it? Are, are we that good? Yeah, we're just yeah that good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with that. Timeout on the floor. Oh, really? Right. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get Coach Campbell anymore tonight. I think he's done with us shenanigans. Yep, yep. In the Christmas spirit, Russ, he's done yeah. with those reindeer games. Yes, he is. Great scene tonight. A lot of the alumni for the last few years here watching the game. They're all home on spring break. Excuse me, Christmas break. See a lot of uh, last year's class down there on the floor. Taylor Terrell, former player, last year graduated. He's going to Iowa State now. We got Craig Davis, his son Jack Davis down there as well. Wholesale substitutions for the Huskies, and I'm only going to go with the ones I've seen before, and that's Roscoe with the ball out top. Roscoe. Yeah, Mark called it in the comments section. He says, I think North can take off their starters any time now. <laughs> so they must have heard you, Mark, because they got a wholesale change. Yeah, Dalton yeah. came out for the first time, or second time for the whole game, I think. But he's a great player. It's fun to watch him. Yeah. Now they got a talented team. There is no they doubt about really it. They really do. And they're deeper than Dalton Banks. I mean, he's their superstar, oh, but they've got some, they've got some players. Yeah. yeah, no doubt. He does a lot to make everybody else on that floor better. Really does. And when he needs to take over, it seems like he might be able to. But What, what a situation, though, when you have a Dalton Banks like that, always getting the double coverage. Because if you're a decent player, you're going to get some good looks then. Right. Luke Warren, before tonight, he was only averaging 8.8 .8 points, but he got a lot of wide-open shots, and Man. he put them away. He knocked down at least five threes, didn't he? Yeah, I think so. I think you're right. Yeah, he had four in the first half. Roscoe Renick knocks down both free throws, and here comes Reagan Pinnow the other way as we count down the last 30 seconds of this ball game. Mike Johnson will drive, kick it. Isaiah Gray back to Johnson. He'll drive in the lane strong. Ball knocked around. Out of bounds off Tiffany. It'll go back to Oak Leonard North. Like seeing him play tough. Tough game. We're losing it, but play hard yeah. all the way through. And you're losing to a good basketball team. Right. So nothing to hang your head uh, about there, boys. You just ran into a, a formidable opponent. Kyle Greenland in the game. I don't think I've ever used that word, formidable. Yeah, it's tough, especially for me. <laughs> Triple word score, Rusty. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, K-Duck. And that'll count it down. The buzzer sounds, and it's an Eau Claire North. 22-point victory here at River Falls High School, 78-56. That's your final tonight. Lady and gentlemen here in the broadcast booth, you all did a fantastic job. I'll just take this moment to wish you all a very Merry Christmas with you, you too, and your Russ. families. Yeah, and you and to nice everybody one down out there, there. In Arizona. Thank you very much. Ariel, good to see you. Gentlemen, and you as well. Kevin, Merry I tell you Christmas. what, so it'll be a few weeks before we get back together. It'll be just after the first of the year, I believe. Yep. Um, the Wildcats do go on the road for a tournament in Milwaukee. We will not have those games. We're going to, nope. our volunteer group is going to take a little bit of a Christmas break and enjoy time with our families. Um, love you guys. Love what you do. Um, it's quite a commitment you make to uh, the, the uh, Wildcat basketball and just Wildcat athletics, athletics in general and our community. So thank you for giving up all of your time to, to help out and, and get this done. Really, really appreciate that. Kevin, as we say every time when you thank us, you're the one that you brought them to okay. all of us. That's you, and okay. You're the maestro. That's okay. You carry you're the, the orchestrator, and That's we love okay. being a part of it. So thank all you right. for it's all fun. you do. It's fun. All yes, right. it is. <clears throat> Speaking of Christmas, let's put a big red bow around this thing. Let's How about do it. That? Let's wrap That's it up. Hey, on behalf of Zach Campbell and the Wildcat Basketball Program, you know, I also want to say, too, on the behalf of, of Ty Buschelt, our 
character <laughs> yeah. athlete of the week. That's awesome. That great. kid's a stud. I'm telling you right now. What a classy kid. And my great play-by-play uh, -play commentator, Russ Blasius. Color commentator, Mr. Ariel Vestres. And Debbie Vestres getting it on a computer. I'm Kevin Westhouse saying thanks again for joining us. Everybody have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, a Happy New Year, and we'll see you in early January. Merry Christmas. Until Merry Christmas, then, everybody. Good, good night.